my son is actually non-verbal and he may have some behavior that we really don't understand. I was a little bit scared because I don't know Serbia. Some doctors tell me your son is too old for the therapy, but I have a good faith that for my son, it will work. Every kid is an uh, is individual, so you have to you have to to trust your own feelings. My name is Esther. I'm from the west part of Africa. Uh, this part is Ivory Coast. So why are you here in Swiss Medical? I'm here to help my son, which he, who is diagnosed with autism, and. Um, I want to try uh, stem cell therapy. I think it may be, it will, um, it will work for my son. So how uh, do the symptoms of autism appear in everyday life for your son? Like it affects his behavior? Yes, uh, the autism affects his behavior. Um, my son is actually non-verbal and he may have some behavior that we really don't understand. So it affects the social interaction. It's why we really need to do something for him. Okay, did you have any fears before coming here? Of you were course. afraid of something. Of course, so what were your fears as a mother? Um, first of all, my I have a I was a little bit scared because I don't know Serbia. Uh, I heard about Serbia. I know that is a part of Balkan, but for me Serbia is I don't is no way. So yes, I was a little bit scared, but. I have, I don't know, but I had a good faith that um, some things can happen, something good can happen for, for my son. And I spoke with some mother from Israel and they told me that they have a very good experience with Swiss Medica here in Serbia. So I thought, why not me? And yes, first of all, I was some, I was, I was a little bit scary, but I think it's not a ra rational, it's not something very rational. It was, I was just scary. Um, what about the doctors back home? Did they give you an advice to try the stem cell, uh, stem cell therapy? Or no. who was that? What Nobody. made you decide to try it? Nobody give me, give me an advice. Some doctors tell me your son is too old for the therapy or the stem cell therapy is like, it's a joke. Uh, it doesn't work. But I think it's an exploration and it works for some, some people. Maybe it works less for, it works less, less for other people. But I have a good faith that for my son, it will work. So I come here uh, because I saw a lot of video from other parents telling me that it worked for the son. So I'm sure it will work for my son also. How was your personal experience in the clinic? when you arrived to Belgrade? Um, when we arrived, uh, everything, everything um, were very well organized. Very good organization. Uh, someone picked us up at the airport and we were sent to the, to the, first of all, to the clinic to have lunch. And after we went to the hotel, about the logistic and the organization, everything was perfect. 
Um, the, uh, the next day we came to the clinic. We meet the staff and uh, the staff, some of them were a little bit scary about my son because my son is big. And yes, this first day I have a meet, my feeling was a little bit mitigated. But after this first day, everything was pretty perfect, I think. So is there anything else you'd like to add from your side? I think for other mother, um, they have to, they have to follow their own feelings. They don't have to listen about some negative comments. They don't, they don't, they don't have to listen to some negative comments telling that um, it's not works. And I think everyone may have his own experience. Some things may work better for some people and not very, it may not very, be very good from others, but it's, it may be different for every individual and every kid is an uh, is individual. So you have to, you have to, to trust your own feelings. Thank you so much, Esther. <laughs>